So right now it's September 9th, Friday. It's 2.40 a.m. I went to bed at 11 p.m. And I got up at 2 a.m. So it's about 3 hours of sleep and some days it's like that. I am not able to sleep. Uh, I'm not sure why. There's a lot going on my mind sometimes and I'm not able to sleep. So I'm typically awake for quite a bit. I might get a nap later before I start work, but this is my routine some days. Um, not the healthiest, definitely not recommending it, but it's, it's just how my body works. Uh, so I'm just gonna take you behind the scenes to what I do when I can't go to bed uh, on my normal routine. So I typically I'll try to do some work, but it's creepy stuff. I read a book sometimes. I use my phone or go on social media or uh, some days I'll try to work out. It depends. I try to listen to my body as much as possible. I'm just taking a pre workout right now. I'm just gonna do some body weight workout. And the reason I do body weight workout now is the weights. It's because I don't want to wake my wife up. She's here. If she's not here, I'll typically do some to work on and so it's you know not so noisy and doesn't make it up. Yeah, I'm also my computer just browsing some stuff watching some YouTube as well. Right now it's 3.20 a.m. Just got done with my workout and I'm just gonna go through my list of videos that I've been planning to do and try to plan ahead and script out a couple of things that I want to do and the goal of at least for me is to try to film, edit and schedule as much content ahead as possible with the goal of knowing that I'm able to have a breathing space for me to really drill down the needs and the wants of each video and keep improving on a daily basis. For 13 a.m just got done with all my stuff um, I'm just gonna end my day by going through a course right now I'm just doing the full-time filmmaker starter course and I think it's a great course if you are a beginner it's just $27 and yes all the resources compacted into a really short course and it's gonna be perfect if you are a beginner who like me who don't have experience doing all this so this is gonna point you to the right direction for you to find your way, find your direction as well as the most important one to find your voice. It's 5, close to 5 a.m. Just pretty much done with the courses. Yeah, I'm pretty much done for the day. Um, exhausted, done with my workout, the planning as well as the course. I did some editing as well. So yeah, that's pretty much a day in my life when I can't sleep. I like to be productive and I find that at this hour it's quiet and I can just put my focus into what I am passionate about, my hobbies and just really grow in the things that I'm just passionate about I guess. Is this for everyone? Definitely not. Um, I would say it depends on yourself. The most important thing is to know yourself. and not push yourself too much if you're not able to. For me, I just, I'm a night owl, so I've been growing up, this is something that I've been doing quite a bit, and my body's able to adjust. And the good thing is, since my workout's done, I'm just probably gonna sleep in. So instead of waking up at my usual schedule at 8 a.m., do my workout, my me time for that 1 a.m., help for that one hour before I start my job at 9 a.m., so what I'm just gonna do is, Sleep in up to 8.45, get up, get my cup of coffee and head straight to work.
so that's pretty much my day and hope you found this insightful um, if you are like me do reach out I definitely want to see your schedule and learn from you I'm pretty sure that there's so much that I am able to learn from you as well so just leave a comment below um, that we appreciate it you subscribe below if you are new here if you're not subscribed if you're just following the journey I would appreciate that